Shepard! My friend. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. A fake one spoken to, Uvenk. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. The lie. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader.
take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torians who's boss. Heard not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one accepted. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Were you around when the female camps and the children over last week? No. I was up. Did you see that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Fixing something. I'll tear you apart. You don't have the plates to try. Don't crowd the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. Of course, if they draw their weapons, the Erdnaut warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner, truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Go away, alien. I talk to no watching, human. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. I may be young, and the late wishes of the female. I've had enough of you! Then let's end. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan, right in the middle. <laughs> While I'm not putting a damn sorry statue on the Hold. That's what you want. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <clears throat> How do I... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should've known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erd not. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not.
Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? It's not important. We're here. That's enough. Well, we've both been busy. Takes me back to the old days, though. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite Warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. 
I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank, did he, boy? We didn't come all this way for nothing. Yes, my blood demands this. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. One of the children probably five years from now. You don't want anything I sell. Good, Varen. Stay. human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Ringcall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call. Whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Why did you call the Pijaks off-world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elatania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. Hmm. I can't imagine you let them walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jock population. You get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Watch it, human! What do you want, human? 
Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So, you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, the clan's hope for the future is lost, falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. Thanks for the information. Whatever. Look at him run. Ha! Ah. straight ahead. Should I ask the female clan to ride a carriage? I lost half my stock in a bed on the pits. 
Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. I didn't do that for my health. Let's talk payment. You have a lot of skill with those cannons. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. This looks interesting. Hit by genophage, nuclear assaults, civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Who are you? I am Fortan, Lord High Researcher in matters scientific for Clan Erdnot. But I don't have time to answer your inane questions. How many humans does the clan leader allow to walk freely among the Erdnot? Not very many. It begs the question of why you are here. I earned the right to walk among you. Want to see how I did it? Oh, very well. But if you get in the way of my research, I will see you ejected. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. It sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. I take it you're a scientist. I used to. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. This should come in handy. These things would last longer if they didn't hit every crater. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I'm going out into the field. 
If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? Not anymore, we don't. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Eyes straight ahead. Always want more shock absorption on those babies. Step back. My Baron is hungry. Put down some real money. Shepherd. The Citadel has these huge arms, but millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? Even though I'll never back down. Even I'll push you. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I'm not fighting over this nonsense. Grunt's ready. Let's get to it. I like your dismissal of our rituals even less than Uvank's challenges. And my word determines whether a rite will proceed. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? How is a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior. But each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target, and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. We'll return when we're ready. When the young Krogan is prepared, bloodshed and the right must not be rushed.
Are you ready to begin the rite of passage? Be warned. Once it is started, you must see it through. To success or death. We're ready to begin. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone.
Um, I'm ready.
me. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. Come on, Uvink. You want to try killing him? Give it your best shot. Not yet. This deserves consideration. Why? I'm not getting any more natural. You are powerful. You are a mistake. But your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gatatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. Grunt can't settle for that. And I'm sure not allowing him to leave my crew. It doesn't matter what you allow. Your authority doesn't go that far. No, Gatatog, whatever order you about is that repulsive alien bears to. Shepard may piss me off now and then, but they drain my tank for droppings like you. You're dead. We've been spotted. Oh, enemy closing. You need more than that. Your life is mine. Impact shot. Get them off their feet. earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a Battlemaster. Shepard is my Battlemaster. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tuchanka's past. Tuchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. 
I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you, of all aliens, would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the Rite of Passage. Krogan suffer the right of life at birth, and the right of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The right of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I don't need to listen to any more of this. It is clear you would not hear anyway. This is valuable. <laughs>